Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do my September TBR. So, September is going to be one crazy month. I go back to school in just a couple days. I am actually pre-filling this a couple days early. The day this video goes up, which will be Wednesday, is the day I go back to school. So, crazy month. But, I'm really excited to talk about all the books I have on my TBR. Even though I have uh, a really overly ambitious TBR. I have 15 books. And my, I'm taking two classes, so I won't have a lot of time on my hands to read, but we shall see how that all works out. So I'm going to jump right in and show you guys what I have on my TBR this month. So the first book I have to talk about is the book I am currently reading, and that is City of Lost Souls, which is book five in the Mortal Intimate series by Cassandra Clare. This is a series, I've explained it in a couple of videos before, I have been reading the series for almost two months now. I'm almost done with it. This is the second to last book. There's only one book after this to read. And I have had kind of a love-hate relationship with it um, since not the, probably the second book in the series. It's kind of gone like this. This is my um, journey with this series. But I'm hoping that the series gets better with the next couple of books. And I'm almost halfway done with this. Hopefully I'll finish it in the next couple of days. And hopefully I will like it. The next two books I have to talk about were all, or they were both books that I featured on my top 10 books I want to read in 2017 video. I will have that video linked down below if you guys would like to check that out. But these are both pretty short books that were featured in that TBR kind of video and those are Red Queen which is book one in the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. This is a, or actually both of these books are white dystopian novels. Um, this one follows our main character. Her name is Mare and in this society um, people are divided up by red bloods and solar bloods. I believe uh, red bloods have like magical abilities and then solar bloods don't have any abilities at all. And I think Mare is like one of those rare few that is a solar blood but has magical abilities. I've heard really mixed things about this series but I'm hoping that I will enjoy it. Hopefully. Cross my fingers. And the other one is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. This is a surprise surprise. I have not read this book. Or actually, I've never finished this book. I've, I have started in the past. It's a whole other story that's in a video for another day. Uh, but never finished it. Everybody knows what the story is about. I don't think I really need to explain. But I'm really excited and very hopeful that I will like this book as much as I really enjoyed the movies. Because, so, yes, I do watch the movies before reading the books. Now, the next, like, eight books I have on my TBR are all review books I got um, from authors and publishers. So thank you so much to all these authors and all these publishers for sending these books. I'm really excited to dive in. Um, and I have quite a bit few. So the first one I have was featured in my most recent book haul. I will link that video down below as well. This video, this book is called Retrograde and this is by Preter Cotton. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. But this is a science fiction novel that, it, from what it's I'm getting from the synopsis, it sounds a lot like The Martian, uh, which I've not read, but I've heard good things about it. But I know what the basic plot line is about. It follows our, our three characters who are on a mission to Mars, and something happens on Earth, and they have to kind of figure out how to save the ones they love. That's what I'm getting from the synopsis. It sounds really cool. has kind of a dystopian feel in a way, which is pretty cool so I'm excited to dive into that. The next two books I got from Bethany House Publishing who I work with a lot on my blog so thank you so much to them for sending me this. These two books. This one I got back I believe in June that is Wings of the Wind by Colin Cosset. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. This is a biblical fiction novel and I didn't realize until it came in the mail this is book three in the series. Now I've never read a biblical fiction novel um, I don't know if I'll pick up the first two books in the series before reading that. I don't know if you absolutely have to, um, but I will look and see if I should before diving into this book. And the other one they sent me was back in July, I believe, and this one is called Heart on the Line. This is by Karen Whitmire. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. Once again, apologize if I'm saying any of these authors' names wrong. This is a historical romance book that takes place in the out or not in the outback like the wild west that's pretty much all i know so hopefully i like this as well the next two books are both egyptian themed books and they're by the same author this one the first one i can't remember which one is the first book in the series i think this is one this is the pharaoh's cat by marisa lulang or 
Maria Louisa Ling. Sorry, just again, what's it again? I said that wrong. Um, this again is an Egyptian themed novel, and that's literally all I know. And then the second book in that series is called The Eye of Nefertiti, again by Maria Lu Louisa Ling. So these sound really good. And the next one I also have has kind of an Egyptian feel to it. This is called The Miseries of Mr. Sparrows, and this is by Matthew A.J. Timmons. This is a mystery novel that, once again, has a kind of Egyptian feel. That's what I'm kind of getting from the cover, um, which is a really cool cover. So, excited to dive into this as well. And the last review book I have on my TBR for this month is one that I've had for like almost a year now and I have yet to dive in. And this book is called June, and this is by... Miranda Beverly Whitmore. I honestly don't know much about this book. I know it has a mystery element to it, um, but that's about it. It sounds like this main character kind of lives in this mansion in Ohio, and she, I think she inherits the mansion from one of her family members. That's kind of what I'm getting from the synopsis, so hopefully I will like it. I've heard some, other, some of my other book two friends who have talked about this. Um, and they seem to enjoy it. So maybe I'll enjoy it as well. And then the last three books are books that I have had on, I want to say on my TBR for a while, but if you guys have seen my most recent library haul, they were in there. I'll also have that video linked down below. So the first one I have to talk about is one of my, actually, one of my most anticipated releases of this year, and this book is called Ahsoka. This is by E.K. Johnson. This is a Star Wars book. Um, the next, This one and the next book in this TBR are both Star Wars related books. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And this follows our main character, Ahsoka, who is the Padawan learner of Anakin Skywalker, who becomes Darth Vader. If you guys have seen the Star Wars movies, uh, Anakin Skywalker becomes Darth Vader in Episode 3. And this is his apprentice that he had between Episodes 2 and 3. If you get, uh, she was featured in the Clone Wars TV show as well as Star Wars Rebels. I absolutely love the character Ahsoka in the Star Wars The Clone Wars. She was one of my favorite characters in that series and she is also one of my favorite characters of all time as far as all the Star Wars movies so I'm really excited to dive into this book which I believe she it takes place between episodes three and four uh, after something happens that makes her leave the Jedi Order so really excited to dive in and then the next book also Star Wars related is called Labyrinth of Evil this is by June James Lucino this is a book that takes place between episodes two and three. This takes actually, I believe it takes place like shortly before Revenge of the Sith, which is my favorite movie. And this is following Anakin Skywalker as he comes closer and closer to turning to the dark side and becoming Darth Vader, we all know. So I have been having, I've had my eye on this book for years, yet to dive in, really excited to. And the last book I have on my TBR for this month is another one of my most anticipated releases of this year, and that is Because You Love to Hate Me. This is edited by Anne-Marie. This is a uh, short story collection that features 13 authors who are paired up with 13 booktubers to write uh, short stories about villains, which can't go wrong with a good villain. A lot of my favorite booktubers are featured in this anthology, and I'm so excited. And can we talk about this cover for a second? Like, look how pretty that is. So, I know a lot of my favorite villains, um, as far as, like, you know, the Disney or, uh, any other villains from popular books, movies, whatever, uh, are featured in this anthology. So, really excited to dive in, and I'm hoping that I enjoy it as much as I have been anticipating, uh, my love for this book. So, yes! And that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have any videos mentioned in this video linked down below if you guys would like to check those out. I also have all my social media links down below. My Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and blog are all linked down below as always. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!